Triple-A baseball for you now on the show as we present coverage from the International League. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Toledo Mud Hens and the Indianapolis Indians. Striding into the box, Daniel Pinero. And we are set for baseball here this evening. 1-1. It's in there for strike number two. And we could be in for a cold one tonight. 52 degrees at game time, but should see the 40s before we're through. Grounded to the right. And that is through into right field for a single. The third base Standing in now, number 19. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Holland isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now, trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. 1-1 one, one home. Hit out towards second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So coming to the plate, Pablo Reyes. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Line towards center field. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Into the box, Charlie Tilson. Ripped down the first base line. To second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Stepping in, Key Brian Hayes. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Rounded back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The first base so now to the plate with Craig. Hit down the third baseline. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Next will be the designated hitter, Frank Schwindel. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Now at the plate, Brandon Dixon. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Brandon. No score here as we play inning number two. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Into the box now, Troy Stokes. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Digging in the switch hitter, John Nunez. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. 
Craig will put this one away and the side is retired. Standing in, O'Neill Cruz. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. All even now, two and two. Now here's the pitch. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. At the plate, J.T. Riddle, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And there's out number two. Stepping up to the plate, Socrates Burrito. Try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. A bouncer up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Into the box now, Daz Cameron. Runs up and gets this one down. On the barehanded attempt, gets by him here, and that ought to go as a bunt single. Got it done. The second base. To the plate now, Dawa Lugo. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Now back. Digging in, Daniel Pinero. One for one after a single this first time up. The 1-1 one, one home. Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. Cameron stands at first with one out. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. Elmore to first and for the second time in three innings they've bounced into a double play and with this one the side is retired. Now at the plate Jake Elmore took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Here's the 1 1. That's Bolton. This ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line and left. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Stepping in now, John Ryan Murphy. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Settling in now, Pablo Reyes. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Coming to the plate now, Charlie Tilson. Runner in scoring position with two guns. The set and the two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Ready now, keep Ryan Hayes. A base hit in his first trip. Couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. 
high in the air out towards shallow right. Bonifacio's under it, and that ends the inning. So digging in now, number 19 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Elmore ranging into the outfield. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. At the plate, Jorge Bonifacio. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 2 1. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. Hot shot on the ground is short. Riddle gathers it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. It'll be the four hole hitter, Will Craig. He sets to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The 1 1. Is taken for strike two. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, O'Neill Cruz. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. To 2 and 2 now. Now here it comes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. And next to the plate will be J.T. Little. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put-away stuff. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two, two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Number 19 is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Into the box now, Brandon Dixon. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Got him to go after a bad one there, and it evens the count at two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. So it was a strikeout swinging. Brendan Dixon is retired to lead off the fifth. And that misses for ball four. Stepping into the box, John Nunez. He popped out in his first trip. John 
Nuno. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Brito is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Standing in, Daz Camera. The center fielder, Daz Camera. And he misses two and one. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now, two and two. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. of the inning now striding in once again Socrates Brito he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far yeah I understand that Matty but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline I don't think he even concerns himself with that he has to put it on the ground that's part of what makes him successful got him swinging in the dirt up with it Nunez but he can't get it there in time Brito reaches on the strikeout Coming to the plate now, Jake Elmore, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. A ball and two strikes now. To two balls and two strikes now. A runner at first with no outs here. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Here's a look over to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Another 2-2. Two, two. This is on the ground over to first. There's one. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that'll bring up the catcher, John Ryan Murphy. And he fouls this one off. Runners on first with one down. Fouled off. There's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Bo Burrows is out from the bullpen now, now as he'll be making his first appearance of this young season. Pablo Reyes will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Now the one and one pitch. His fastball taken high for a ball. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Three and one to him now. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. And Charlie Tilson now comes forward. It was a walk in his last trip. Inside and low, two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Into the corner and slicing foul. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. So striding forward now, Key Brian Hayes. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Oh, 
It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. The set and the 2 2. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Nunez gathers, and that ends the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Dawa Lugo. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 2. Misses inside off the plate. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Tilson will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Stepping into the box, Daniel Panero. He's one for two in the ball game. Panero. One out, nobody on. Grounded back up the middle. Riddle has it cleanly. Throw on to first, and Holland looks to be in control here. Two away now. Now in the box, number 19. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Ball three. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Line drive to center field. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Now batting. Right fielder. Jorge. At the plate now. Jorge Bonifacio. Hit on the ground out to short. Riddle has it. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Will Craig. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. In now, O'Neill Cruz. No hits to this point. One one home. Softly hit down to third. Likely no shot at two. One there, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Now back. Digging in, JT Riddle. Third at bat in this one. He's bounced out and popped out in his two previous trips. And a front foot curveball here that misses down and in for ball two. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Socrates Brito is on deck. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run in first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. JT Riddle becomes out number two this inning. A dive, but he's back. Here's the 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One now. Nope. One, two, two. That was ugly. Howdy! If you're waving at me. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. And a curveball swung on and missed. And a great call there as the inning is over. Into the box, Frank Schwindel. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batter. Brandon Dixon steps in now. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. 
Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. In there, a base hit. Into the box, Troy Stokes. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses ball four. So now that potential time run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Yexel Rios was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. One and one, here it is. Line toward right center. Dive, but it's off his glove, and that ought to get at least one run in. And the run will score from third as that ties things at one. Now that second base. Dalwell Lugo. Standing in now. Dawel Lugo. And that gets the black on the outside. A good slider that time. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. The one two hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The one two misses ball two. Here's a line drive. That's down. It'll give him the lead and then some. The go ahead run will score. It's cut off, so all three runners are in to score. Now that it back, Daniel Panero. In now, Daniel Panero. This is in the air out to right field. Brito is over to his right as he puts this one away, two down. At the plate, number 19. He now singled his last time up. Isaac. From the belt, the pitch. He loses him on ball four. And that'll bring up Jorge Bonifacio. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. Still a ball and two strikes. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Digging in to try it again. Jake Elmore, one for two in the ball game thus far. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Striding in, John Ryan Murphy. Both for one for him here in this one. A 1 1. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. 
Now back, now back to the top of the lineup. Yeah. Stepping in, Pablo Reyes. The 1 1 home. Down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. The throw into second. And he'll get in there safely. Now back, better fielder. At the plate, Charlie Tilson. He pulls this one into right. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Cody Ponce is out from the bullpen now as he'll be making his first appearance of this young season. Digging in now, Frank Schwindel. He was a ground out victim last time up. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Count still at one and two. Now the pitch. And he won't go after the cut fastball. Two and two. Change up taken for ball three. Well below the zone. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Brito is there. One away. Now at the plate, the Brandon Dixon. He reached on a single Brandon. last time and later wound up scoring. To two and two now. Not a spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Hit hard to third. And that's the second out. Digging in, Troy Stokes. Troy Stokes. One and one, here it comes. Two balls, one strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Got him swinging, made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Nick Ramirez goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 63. So stepping in, keep Ryan Hayes. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Here now the 2-2. On the ground to third. Throw on to first and one third baseman grounds out to the other. One away. Ready for another chance. Will Craig. Eighth inning. Four to one is our score. In there. One and two now. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Skied into straightaway right. Bonifacio's under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Oniel Cruz. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Now here's the pitch. And he popped him up. Panero into shallow left. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Into the box now. JT Riddle. Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one.
Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So striding in, John Nunez. 0 for 2 for him to this point. On ah, that fastball is too much for him there. 1 and 2. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now, now to the plate, the Daz Cameron. Two hits and three at-bats for him in this one. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Dawa Lugo is on deck. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane. And that's out number two. Second base. Dawa Lugo. Now the one and one pitch. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Tilson will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Alex Wilson comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 31. Alex. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Socrates Brito, the next to bat. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Wilson was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. This is pulled into right. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. So now to the plate, Jake Elmore. Weak rounder back to the mound. And that's out number one. Digging in once again, John Ryan Murphy struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. That misses, and we're even at two and two. He's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Stokes is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Pablo Reyes. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. A four-to-one finish in this evening's game. The Toledo Mudhens jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Bo Burrows claims the win out of the pen. His first. Alex Wilson closes the door for the save. His first of the year. 
So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.